Hi, we are now back onto um, the back side of the worksheet. The front side looked like this with the flow chart. The back side is, uh, looks like this, and it starts with question number 19, actually, and we're writing inequalities for these uh, real life situations. So if a number n is positive, we say um, we want to write an inequality for that. So we would use n, and then we would um, use one of the inequality symbols, either greater than, greater than equal to, less than, or less than equal to. So these are the four symbols that we are going to choose from. Now, if a number is positive, then n is going to be any number that is greater than zero. And the reason it's zero is because any number bigger than zero, such as 0 0.5, such as 1, such as 9, such as 1 million. Um, all of those numbers are pretty much called positive numbers. And so n is basically any number greater than 0, and that represents positive numbers. So actually, you know, if we want to take that a, a step further, if I want to say n is negative numbers, then it would be the exact opposite of that inequality, and that would be n less than zero would represent n any number that is negative. Okay, but that's just something on the side. And number 20, we have here that the sum of a number y and negative 3, so the sum would mean an addition question. So I would use y, then the plus sign, and then negative 3, just like that. And then is greater than would be the is greater than symbol, and then 15. Now because of the word is, I know I'm using the symbol greater than, rather than if I say 5 greater than 20, then I might, I might use um, greater than without the word is. So the is is very important here. Number three, seven more than. And here when we see more than, we're not talking about the inequality symbol because we don't see the word is. And so seven more than a number x is less than or equal to negative 10. We're going to translate that. Seven more than a number. Now more than is one of those backwards words, which means that instead of writing seven, plus x, I'm actually going to write x plus 7 because 7 is more than a number. So the number is first, the letter x is first, then add the 7 after, and then is less than or equal to is going to be less than equal to symbol, and then I write negative 10 after that, and that is my answer for number 20. Let me go ahead and actually box the answer for number 20 and also the number 19. Okay, next question, number 22. Um, subtracted from is a key word here, and that's going to be a backwards word. Please feel free to pause any time if you don't want to see an answer and work it out yourself first, and then play when you're ready to see the answer and me working out and explaining it to you. 17 subtracted from the number x, so then I would write x minus 17 because it's a backwards word. The is greater than gives me the symbol is greater than, and then negative 4, I would write that right there. So there's my answer for number 22. Number 23, I have that there are at most 1,200 students that attend El Rancho Charter School. And we're going to use X to represent the number of students at El Rancho. And, it, and it's, it's comparing X with 1,200. So the comparison, we're going to use an inequality symbol. And the comparison here is this keyword, at most. So when we think of at most, I'm going to ask you a question. Could we have more than 1,200 students at El Rancho? If I say at most 1,200, can I say that I have um, less than 1,200 students? Now, at most means that that is as many students as we can have. So really, it also means that I can have no more than two, oh, sorry, 1,200. So if I cannot have any more than that, I could possibly have 1,200. But I cannot have anything more than that, 
So I can't have a thousand and one student. I can't have one thousand two hundred and two students. I can't have one thousand two hundred and three students. But I could have one thousand two hundred students and anything less than that. So then I would choose to write the less than symbol and then the equal sign as well, because at most I could have one thousand two hundred the equal. And I and I want to have less than that. So X would represent students at El Rancho, and I want anything less than or equal to 1,200. Okay? Okay, going down to the last um, few questions here. Number 31, fewer than, keyword, 45 people are attending the show, and N is for the number of people attending. So N would go here, then I would write 45 on this side, make a comparison with the inequality symbol in the middle. So I'm, I want fewer than, so anything fewer than would just be the less than symbol. No equal sign there because I do want exactly fewer than 45. I don't want exactly 45. So that's my answer for number 31. Number 32, high fiber foods have at least five grams of fiber per serving, and that's going to be the key word here, at least. So I'm going to write F, because I'm using F to represent grams of fiber per serving. And I'm going to write five over here. Then I'm going to compare them and figure out, if I have at least, could I have less than five, if it's at least? Or should I have more than five, if it means at least. So if I have at least five grams, could I have more than five? Yes, I can. So that is going to be the greater than symbol because I want at least five. So could I actually have five because do I need the equal sign underneath the greater than symbol? Um, yes, I would want that at least five. So I would want five, um, or anything more. So maybe five, maybe six, maybe seven, maybe anything bigger than five, okay? Sorry for that long pause earlier. Number 33, a student pays for three movie tickets with a $20 bill and he gets change back. So T would be the cost of a movie ticket. So T is the cost. Now, um, here it says that they paid with three movie tickets, for three movie tickets with a $20 bill, but they got change back. So how would I represent that? as a cost for the movie ticket. Well, first of all, um, I know that they paid $20 for the uh, three movie tickets, but they also got some change. So I'm going to use the, uh, the T as my uh, variable for the cost of the tickets. Now they happen to buy three tickets, so I'm going to write three T. That means I bought three tickets and maybe the cost of the ticket was $5 each. So three times five would give me a total of $15. Okay, maybe the tickets were $10. So three times $10 would make $30 for the three totals ticket, uh, tickets total. So three times T would give me, basically this represents um, the total of three tickets. Now, it says that, I, uh, that the tickets didn't cost, um, uh, are com we're comparing it with actually $20 because $20 was given, um, but there was change. So if there was change, does that mean that the tickets were more than the $20 or that the tickets, the three tickets that they bought were less than $20? Because that's what I'm comparing. I'm comparing three tickets with the $20 that there was given, but the three tickets were the cost of the tickets. So were the tickets, the total tickets, less than $20 if they got changed back, or was it more than $20 if they got changed back? Obviously it'd be less than, because there was change given back. So there's my answer for 33. Number 34 at the bottom, we did um, go over this in class. Some of you uh, may have not been here, but I will still explain it to you. So number 33, a truck cannot be over three tons. So if it's not over it, then it must be under it. So in this question here, I'm just going to use X for the, the weight of the truck. The weight of the truck is X. And um, three tons, so how do I compare the truck's weight with three tons? Well, it's got to be less than three tons and maybe equal to three tons. That's okay, but it just can't go over the three tons. So X is less than or equal to three tons here. 
Number 35, the speed limit. Well, the speed limit looks like it's 25. So could I go under the speed limit? Yes, that's what a speed limit means. But I cannot go over the speed limit. And because I can't go over the speed limit, I have x here, and I'm going to compare it with a 25, which is known as the speed limit. The max that I can uh, drive up to is 25 miles per hour. And because of that, I want my driving speed, the speed, this is the representing x, to be less than 25, or I could also make it equal to 25, because that's the limit. I could reach 25, but I just can't go over 25. And 36 here, you must be this tall. You've got to be at least 4 feet here to ride the rides. So x would be um, your, your height, okay, and then we're going to compare that height with 4 feet. And when we compare it, we want to know um, that you have to be at least, and the keyword here is at least four. And just like the problem earlier in the in the page where at least came up, um, where that's basically our minimum. And when we have a minimum, it means we need to be anything bigger than four. Okay, so k x should be anything bigger than four. And you know it's also going to equal four because. And, you know, if you're four feet tall, you can ride the ride. You just got to be four feet and anything above four feet, five feet, six feet, and anything um, taller. All right, happy studying.